the level of excitement that I have, the energy that I have for every single Zoom call, um, it's like re-energized my career. I've always loved what I've done and it's been such a blessing to put together this type of group has literally re-energized me and helped me lean into a place that I didn't even know existed. everybody. I hope that you've been enjoying our docu-series Uncommon. And what you're probably finding is we do things uncommon. There's so many different programs from coach to coaches to events to our work with teams professionally and collegiate to Uncommon Live. You see all our programs behind the scenes. But we have one group. It's our smallest group. The group that I work closest with. It's our standard elite mastermind. And we came to Mexico to show you how we do things uncommon in our mastermind. Come check out our crib. So this is one of two mansions. What we wanted to do was provide an experience that was something that somebody would never do on their own. Something that allowed them to feel uncommon. Something that allowed them to think bigger but something that made them realize that everything you want to achieve in your life is right in your grasp if you put the discipline behind it over a long period of time. Don't ever forget, long obedience in the same direction with aggressive patience. Check this place out. I mean, talk about a foyer. We might be doing the unrequired workout right here, so everybody stay connected on it. If you come through here, up through here, and we're gonna take you through some of these bedrooms, so this house right here, this is called the Jaguar. Mahika is the other house that we have. This Jaguar house is the newer of the two houses. So let's take you through this house, show you the backyard right there on the beach, right there by the water, and then we'll take you through some of the rooms. You guys think that view's okay? So here we've got our own private pool. We'll probably be taking these kayaks out. We'll be enjoying time. So here we've got separate pool. This house has 14 rooms. We've got pickleball, we've got tennis courts, we've got everything that's needed all the way on that side. One of the things they always do, once again, back to paying attention to the details. In everything you do in your life, you gotta pay attention to the details. Coach Kleiman at Kansas State, I've had the blessing of working with him for 10 years. I work with Saban and Kleiman, it's like getting a doctorate in leadership. Those are the two winningest coaches in all of college football over the last 15 years. And Coach Kleiman always says, find your edge in the details. So pay attention to how we pay attention to the details from people's favorite colors, to the things that they like, to the snacks that I alluded to earlier, to make sure when they walk in, we're gonna show you one of the rooms with the gifts that we've gotten for them. They know that we paid attention to every detail of what's important to them in their life. So I gotta tell you, Kaylee and Bree and the events team did an absolutely amazing job. This far exceeded my expectations. I thought we'd have a house that kind of had like an Airbnb feel to it. But as you guys can see, I mean, take a look at this upstairs where all these bedrooms are. This almost gives you the feel of like a private boutique hotel. It's like we've rented a private boutique hotel and we got two of them. It's every single day, guys. You know, a lot of times, a lot of coaches and speakers, they talk about, oh, you should do this, you should do that. This is every day writing down those things, surrendering that little boy that always held me back, giving myself permission to just attack and to love on that little guy that's inside of me. Writing down the burn, my mother's name, Janet Fishman Newman Legacy, every single day. Look at this, guys, all my notes, all the details. Kind of take you guys, like when I get to a, a hotel or wherever I go, 
you guys are gonna go on this journey because we're going from here straight to the Miami Dolphins, straight to the pure sweat events with Drew Hanlon in Vegas, then Chicago for Nike Nationals. Like we're about to go on a run. Every single room when I check into a hotel, I set it up, I've got my book, I'm reading books every single day. By the way, Arnold, Arnold, my guy. This book is absolutely fire. Make sure that you're feeding your mind every single day too. So check out this view right here. Pretty good to wake up to every day. I could handle that for a few days. Check this out. Look at all of the detail. Now, let me share something with you guys. You know how much that First Form family means to me. Sal Frisella, Andy Frisella, everybody at that First Form headquarters, they mean the world to me. It's amazing the things we've been able to do together over all these years. Think about the supplements. Think about the energy drinks. Think about everything that they do, snacks. But man, their apparel, they are killing it. Look at this special, special trial by fire gear. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Judy Selby, Standard Elite Mastermind, Trial by Fire, Mexico, 2024, The Burn. Oh, that's cool. Personalized. <clears throat> you might be doing something special with those torches. Remember, you pay attention to the details. You guys might remember from one of these past episodes <clears throat> when we were down in Arizona, we were talking about that difference between focus and intentional focus. I hope you're carrying on and starting to see a theme of what we do. There's intentional focus in everything that we do, like consistency of workouts, consistency in things with philanthropy. We're gonna do some amazing things that are philanthropic to give back to kids here in Mexico. It's been important to our family for a long time. You'll see that later. We got tennis, we got pickleball. Go get your racket. I'm not a pickleball guy. I might be becoming a pickleball guy here soon. Wait till I get warmed up. Oh. This is for all the, this is, this, is for the, this is for the Sam can't keep up. This is what you're gonna, you're gonna get some, you're gonna ridicule me now. Money. And I win the score. There's the basketball court too, Mark. You see the, Mark, did you see the basketball court? And when I reflect back on having a group like this, where for years and years and years people said, oh, you should do a group like that, you should do, and I just, I resisted, never started this type of a group. And when we got very, very intentional, what would we do in this group? And what would the offerings be? And how often would we talk? And one-on-one -on -one and group settings and events. Um, I, I never thought that it would turn out the way that it had. The level of excitement that I have, the energy that I have for every single Zoom call, um, it's like re-energized my career. I've always loved what I've done and it's been such a blessing, but having the opportunity to put together 
this type of group has literally re-energized me and helped me lean into a place that I didn't even know existed. When I looked at the calendar that we built, <clears throat> I thought about the private retreat we would have. And this was like the one, I'm like, this is going to be it. This is going to be so incredible. And uh, Judy, it'll be the last time we bring up St. Louis. She's so mad that her flight got canceled. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Judy, even though, you know, St. Louis, you were unable to be there, you know, it was great to be in St. Louis. And Matthew was in St. Louis and had no idea when Matthew was in St. Louis that he would end up being a member of Standard Elite. So amazing to welcome another incredible member like you, Matthew, to the group to be here with all of us. <laughs> And, you know, to know that Puerto Rico is going to be an absolutely amazing experience. But there was just something about knowing we would just have this time together. And when I put together with Bree and Kaylee and Anna what we were going to do through this experience and how we talked through what we're all going to experience over these next few days, I just got more and more and more and more excited. There's so much emotion that I could share about all of those reasons why, and I, I hope it's going to come out through some of the exercises that we're going to go through. <clears throat> what I would like to ask of all of you is that you really lean in. You know, it, it's we've gone from Zoom screen to now, like here we're this you know tight group, but I really want to encourage all of you to really lean in. Lean into these relationships, lean into the opportunity, lean into the fact that this is very unique, that we've all decided that, you know, we're doing one-on-ones and we're doing group time and all of these events, but like we all decided to be here. And, you know, I know that Jeremy and Nikki and Walter are not here with us tonight. It would be great for them to be here with us as well. And not everybody's going to always be able to make every single event. Um, but those of us that can be here, please lean in because I can share with you the times where I've made the conscious choice to lean in in my life. Uh, many of times it's been very, very, very uncomfortable. But when I go to those places, it's often what reveals my greatest strength, but it ends up giving me the have opportunity to have the greatest growth in my life. And I look forward to growing our relationships through this experience. I look forward to growing through this experience just in the preparation of some of the things that we're gonna go through. There was growth that's already taken place for me to lean in just a little bit more. And so there's some intentional exercises that are really gonna encourage all of you to go very, very, very deep. <laughs> Thank you.
we do it on common. We've been doing events for 15 years. We've done big events, but we're going to do a mastermind. I believe there's a way to do it. How you evaluate yourself, the difference from where you are to your greatness. The powerful, the fun. Ben Newman is in this house, ladies and gentlemen. Give it a round, let's go, Ben! <laughs>